Hey, this is a nice shirt. I stole it from my daughter the other week. It's a world famous Marimekko men's shirt. And as I was wearing it, my wife told me that it is actually my shirt. That my brother had bought it for me years back and then my daughter had stolen it from me. And I have totally forgotten about all of that. So it seems that the ownership is a pretty fluid concept in our family. <laughs> hey, a few months back, late February, early March, there was a major snowstorm developing and I got all excited. I wanted to go downtown and take some street photos during a snowstorm. I made my Graflex, Crown Graphics ready, a couple of sheets of film I throw downtown. But then nothing happened. And as I was looking at my weather radar on my phone, it seemed like the whole storm system had split into two. And I was right in the middle. Uh, what a disappointment. I, I, you know, I, I felt so bad that I thought I need to somehow reward myself. And I went to the local bookstore and I found this. Uh, it's a book named 1001 Photographs You Must See Before You Die. Not that I'm planning to die anytime soon. It's kind of a bold statement to talk about my death on a cover of a book. Anyways, hey, as the name suggests, it's got some photographs in it. Some of them are pictures that I've already seen before. Like this amazing migrant mother by Dorothea Lang. And then some pictures are sort of maybe less significant as photographs, but they are about a historical event and, and as such interesting. Now maybe my favorite out of all these pictures is this. It's Charles Negre's Chimney Sweeps Walk. Such a powerful image from the early days of photography, 1851. So as I was glancing through these pictures, I thought that, hey, it might be fun to try to recreate some of these pictures. Pick um, a few of these, go out there and try to do my own version of these original pictures. And I took my Graflex Speed Graphics with this um, uh, enlarger condenser lens. I've been using this quite a bit. It's, it's a neat device. And then my third Graflex, which is the RP Series B medium format camera. As you can see, I'm really in the deep end of Graflexes. And with these tools, I went out and started to replicate some of the pictures. And these are the results. <laughs> hey, that was a lot of fun. I truly enjoyed the whole process. And I believe that I have now much deeper relationship with each and every picture that I try to replicate. I needed to look at the composition and the lightning and what makes this picture this picture in a much deeper way when I tried to create my own version of it. I guess it's a great way to study photography and 
study somebody else's work, trying to create your own version of it. Which leads to an interesting question then, what is mine and what is his? What do I owe to the original work? Like in my previous video I played some music in the background. I played um, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple, originally composed by Richie Blackmore. I mean we all know the riff, all guitar players can play the riff. That's a great riff. Um, and as I played that on my video, then um, I got a copyright claim and now I need to share the revenue of my playing of that video, if I ever get any, uh, with Richie Blackmore. Which is totally fine. It is his composition and it's my cover work. Now. This, on the other hand, this is Henry's composition. And this is my cover work. So I wonder, is this now really different? We even use the same term, composition. Um, so what do I owe to the original copyright owner? Now this pair here, I'm clearly just inspired by the original work, so you might claim that this is an original work by me. But here we are much closer to the just the cover of the original. Um, loosely related, by the way, Richie Blackmore tells that the original inspiration to his Smoke on the Water riff came from Beethoven's Fifth. Which is, yeah, I mean, if you look at the chord structures and some of the ingredients, and yeah, why not? There was also a very interesting court case about a month ago in the US Supreme Court when Lynn Goldsmith sued Andy Warhol Foundation uh, for Andy Warhol's work using her original photo of Prince in Andy Warhol's collage. And then Vanity Fair publishing some of those pictures. And the Supreme Court verdict 7 to 2 says that yes, Andy Warhol violated Lynn Goldsmith's uh, copyright. And that Andy Warhol Foundation now owes some money to the original copyright owner. Which is interesting in the sense that now this puts a lot of work by Andy Warhol under. I guess a copyright question mark, if nothing else. So then that actually made me thinking. In science, uh, there's a way to citate and reference to an earlier work that we, in an art community, we sort of lack. If you write a scientific paper, you always mention and reference the earlier work related to your work. You are not supposed to copy, that's an absolute no-no. But also leaving out the original work, leaving out the work that sort of precedes what you did, is equally no-no. So recognizing that no science is born in the vacuum, but everything is built on a previous work, we should somehow adapt that also in art, that no art is born in a vacuum. But we all stand on the shoulders of the work that came before us. I don't know how we should do that. Uh, we don't have the citation mechanism of scientific papers. But I think that at least me, I, in the future, I try to find a way to reference to the earlier work if such exists. And even if I, you know, get some money out of my work, trying to share that money with who owns the original idea. 
So this was an interesting exercise, not only because it was fun to do, but it sort of got me thinking about this ownership and copyright things. And the only thing that is certain is that this shirt is now mine. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching once again. Uh, it's the summertime now and I, I've been trying to publish these videos pretty much on a weekly basis. But now, during the summertime, I will probably take a few weeks off every now and then. So, if I don't show up um, every Saturday, uh, I apologize. It's just that I, I want to take breaks every now and then. <laughs> See you later. Enjoy summer. Ha, ha, ha.